One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got for you here today is a 1973 Eldorado convertible. It's a nice car and it's straight. A story I got is the old guy died and it sat out beside his house for 10, 15 years. It ain't been registered forever and all that kind of stuff. It's clean down the side, straight as can be, but it's got some dings, dents along the bottom there and it gets some problems where the trim is underneath it. These cars are notorious for getting water under the trim and having it blow it out and do things like that. I'm gonna go around it a quick once around and then I'll go show you up close any of the damages and stuff like that. If you're looking for a project car to restore, stop it and call me because this is the one. Um, that's the deal. 406-546-8748, oneownercarguy.com. And with that, I'm gonna start showing you stuff. It's a beautiful car. I love the lines and everything of these. Underneath this car is clean. And I'll tell you the most beautiful part about this car is under the hood. Um, under the, look, at, look at this. This is just, is that even showing you correctly? There we go. Now look at this. Let me give you a little bit more of a look. I hope you can see that. Because it's nice. It's clean. Clean, clean, clean. Weird with the oil filter on the front there. Um, it's just clean, nice, underneath and under the hood. I'm going to show you under the hood. And you're going to be like, whoa! Because under the hood is just beautiful. Um, around here, obvious. And this water gets underneath all this trim and everything and around that kind of stuff. It's going to take a little bit of work there. This big old long old hood is just in great shape. And most all your trim and all the accessories is there. The hood ornament comes right off. So before somebody steals it, I'm going to keep a hold of it. But I just had to leave it on there for what we were doing. So these things are in pretty good shape. A little bit of pitting. This one's got some paint stuff on it. And it was on the bumper more and my guy picked it off. I just didn't get too detailed with that because it's going to be restored, whoever gets it. The white stuff in between the br uh, black uh, rubbers here is messing up. Yeah, I think new ones would be in order. Um, the bumper fillers are gone. It's got a hole there in the lens. All the paint is checking and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's original paint. I think it's been repainted at some point in its life. I haven't got too into looking, but you can tell right there, most likely there's been paint on it. Um, I don't know. I never buffed it out or anything. I never got too into going deep into this deal. Um, it's just set here and it's in great shape. Um, straight. Little check marks and all checking in the paint and everything. It's just needs to be taken down and redone. That's 100% what it needs. It is a project car. I just love, I'm going to rave about them. The indicators and the fenders like that are great quarters. Now, underneath, I've got one of the skirts in the trunk, so you have to find the other one. All the brackets and everything are in there and looking good. My guy sprayed the wheels, too, which the wheels don't matter. There's a couple hubcaps in the trunk. This here, right underneath this, along that line in there and down there, you got some corrosion. Um, all the trim, man. The trim's in great shape, even the bottom rocker moldings and everything. The front one's gone, but it's in the trunk. And it's because, like I say, man, the water gets underneath this stuff in these big old things and it's got these non-painted clips on there and it just falls apart. So this needs to have a new lower quarter welded in. You can get all this stuff very cheap online. Um, all the trim, like I'm saying, man, the car is trimmed out. It's just here. Um, and I hate to say it's all here because the minute I say that, there'll be something not here. But it's just, and, and the stainless and everything, it's clean. In between the windows here, there's a gap. It's missing that piece. Um, obviously, the top is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you won't have to do nothing to the top on this, but just drive it. You can tell there's a big hole in the roof and that it needs a top. However, the rear glass window is still there, which is pretty important. Um, a top for these are pretty cheap on eBay. Two, three hundred bucks at the most. From my recollation, recollection, and that's, you got yourself a deal. Um, right around here, corrosionary type issues. Um, I've put them on Grand Prix and everything else. I put them on a 67. I've never done a 73 for the top. A little corrosion there. The chrome. The chrome's in good shape. You're getting some pitting around this area. 
The reverse lights and the structures for all that are there with the plate. Um, I don't know exactly if there's something. Now yeah, the plate grabs right on there. Oh, that's right. This one flips up. Isn't that cool? Kids nowadays would never find that gas tank. They could look for a long time, a long time. Okay, going down this side. These rear filler pieces, if you're familiar with Cadillac, you're familiar with replacing them or seeing them gone, one or the other. Um, let me show you in the trunk while we're back here. I'm gonna do a different kind of walk around here. It's a different kind of day. I was hoping for some sun earlier. We didn't get any, that even holds over. So since we didn't get any sun, I just did it. It's not rusty in the trunk, man. It's not rusty in the trunk. There's that. Extra seal for a door or something. It's a clean car. Look, it's still got, look at that. See, and I get a lot of hell from some people like, well, it's not a clean car. Well, it is, if you're considering, listen to the way that shuts. That's what I'm talking about. The way the doors and the trunk and everything shuts on this car, the car was clean and it just set outside. And that's a crime and all, but it's what happened. And now this is what we're dealing with. Going down the sides though, there's hardly a ding. I'm telling you, there's not even hardly a ding. I can't talk about nothing on this side really. Down on this side, I showed you the stuff at the bottom, but as far as dings go, there's not anything to talk about. Absolutely amazing. And the way the um, everything lines up, oh man. Now how did that get left in there? You know, I hire some people to help me. And the help sometimes isn't as helpful. Come on, you know, that's the piece that's missing. And that trunk line, I was just about to tell you how nice the lines are on this thing. And the lines on this car, and I noticed that was up, are just beautiful teeny bit of adjustment on the trunk to get this edge a little closer over here, then you've got a really straight car. Wow, that feels like old school letting. Really does. This aftermarket crap's coming off. That's the piece for the other side. And that's pretty much, oh, this little thing starting right there. And that's what I've got to talk about, about this car. It's just clean, it's nice. Okay. Let's look at the inside. With the startability, the startability. I got a problem and I think it's because of that. Watch this. Nice and clean as can be. It just, it's tight. They hardly squeak. And I did not spray these. I didn't spray them. Even the rubber in here and everything's in good shape. Um, this stuff, this stuff takes a haggard hill from the sun. So that one's a little whatever. The door panel, you're gonna have to have somebody redo the door panels. Um, as far as the windows, we left a battery in it and it went dead. Um, I actually redid this whole video right now because I was, I did the video, I did the pictures, and then my card went bad. Obviously there's a hole in the seat. The deal with the seats are, they look nice in the back too, but the deal with the seats are, they're old. It's had a hole in the roof. The tarp blew off at different times over the last 15, 20 years with me and the other guy having it. And it's had water on the inside. It don't smell all crappy. It's nice. There's a hole in the floor in the back there. Um, you're going to have to have a patch panel welded in. Here's the original floor mats and some extra set he had. And that's what I got for it. Extra stuff. Um, there's a chunk and stuff, but on the top thing, you can hear stuff. But I didn't get too into doing it. Um, it, that's gonna shatter the minute I do. Um, the car needs to be completely redone. Uh, the dash is cracked up. It is all it's cracked up to be. And it's had a little repair work there and stuff. Like I can repair this one or honestly just replace it. The parts on these cars are still cheap enough to find. So I got the stickers on everything. Oh, how did I do this? Just like that, huh? Pedals hardly anywhere. And I believe the miles. I believe there is 84,000 miles on it. It's a nice car. And as far as like I was talking on the startability, there's an alarm somewhere on this car. And it's not letting no power get to nothing. I'm gonna open up the hood and show you under there. So I didn't state it, but I figured it was pretty obvious you could see you needed carpets. 
I'll go open the other door. The steering wheel's got them cracks in it, like they all get. It needs to be replaced. All right, now for the beautiful part. That's right, under the hood of this car, you can see where the hood liner was? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Not only that, the motor, whoo uh, Seriously, give me a break. Now we did the same thing we do anything, I sprayed this thing down. Um, power washed it off a little bit and sprayed it down with the normal stuff to dress it out. And I'll tell you what, this car looks good. This motor looks good is what I was saying. All these original old. Add one quart of ethylene glycol and one quart of water to engine coolant reservoir when level drops to add. Wow. Ethylene glycol, one quart of water. Ethylene glycol, huh. I know one thing's what they make the antifreeze out of. Maybe they just called it by the actual name back in the day. It's in good shape. It's just, it's in great shape. Okay, well I don't know what else to tell you about the car. Look at the plastic bottles and stuff. Usually them will get all, them are usually all fractured and messed up by this day and age. Usually you don't have stuff like that on it. This was an extremely nice car that somebody let set out when they corked off. So that's where we are on it. It's a big old car. It's a big old hood. And it's a great restoration project. Most of all, it's cheap. It's a cheap car. You're not going to find stuff like this in a couple years. I'm actually going to be sorry I sold it. If this car was in Montana, I would forget I ever owned it and just let it sit out there and restore it when I got the time. Um, the way it is, I got too much stuff. I got cars everywhere. And if you check my website, oneownercarguy.com, you'll see lots of classics and everything. I got a 72 Lincoln over there, a uh, coupe, and that W124 is absolutely beautiful. Just pictured it last night. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, windows go up and down. They're slow. It's going to need a little bit of work on that. This is the only one that doesn't work correctly. Um, the other ones, they work or want to work really bad. They need help on some of them probably at some point because they're slow. They're old. It needs to be redone. So, that's the deal. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Subscribe on YouTube daily videos. We'll talk to you.